Sleeps in the kitchen with her feet in the hall. She's got a sister, she's tall and keen. She runs her tongue like an English queen. Bow wow 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 wow, I got those bow wow. I got a gal, she rides a riverboat She could make a good mule leave his oats She's got a sister, she's tall and rough She's a hometown gal and she knows her stuff Bow wow 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 I got those bow wow She's the vamp of the town She's strictly tailor-made She's no hand-me-down She's got a sister She looks so bum But she's got more ways of loving Than Wrigley's got gum Bow, wow, 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 wow I got those bow, wow I got a gal, she's six feet tall and Sleeps in the kitchen with her back to the wall She's got a sister, she's tall and keen And she struts her stuff in a Ford limousine Bow, wow, 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 wow I got those bow, wow She comes to town in a broken down flipper. She's got a sister and her name is Kate And she struts her stuff in a Cadillac 8 Bow wow 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 I got those bow wow I got a gal, she's six feet tall Sleeps in the kitchen with her feet in the hall She's got a sister, she's tall and keen She runs her tongue like an English queen Bow, wow, 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 wow I got those bow, wow I got a gal, she rides a riverboat She could make a good mule leave his oats She's got a sister, she's tall and rough She's a hometown gal and she knows her stuff Bow, wow, 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 wow I got those bow, wow I've got a gal, she's the vamp of the town She's strictly tailor-made, she's no hand-me-down She's got a sister, she looks so bum But she's got more ways of loving than Wrigley's got gum Bow, wow, 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 wow I got those bow, wow I got a gal, she's six feet tall and Sleeps in the kitchen with her back to the wall She's got a sister, she's tall and keen And she struts her stuff in a Ford limousine Bow, wow, 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 wow I got those bow, wow She comes to town in a broken down flipper She's got a sister and her name is Kate And she struts her stuff in a Cadillac 8 Bow wow 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 I got those bow wow I got a gal, she's six feet tall Sleeps in the kitchen with her feet in the hall She's got a sister, she's tall and keen She runs her tongue like an English queen Bow, wow, 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 wow I got those bow, wow I got a gal, she rides a riverboat She could make a good mule leave his oats She's got a sister, she's tall and rough She's a hometown gal and she knows her s*** Hey,
you cool cats and kittens. It's Carol Baskin at Big Cat Rescue. Hi, Sasha and the noob. I'm so excited that Talkin' Funny is back. I can't wait to hear more from Army the Octopus and the hilarious Laugh Cougar. And that pretty Debbie Shortcake. Ooh la la. I'll be tuning in every Tuesday night at TalkingFunny2020.com. That's TalkingFunny2020.com. Stay cool, you cats and kittens. Hey, welcome to Talking Funny. It's the Funny Sealer Talk Show. They sound all over the internet. We're on YouTube and Twitch, a little bit on Twitch and uh, Twitter. All the fun places you can see the show. Uh, my name is Sasha, international hilarious comedian, and I'm here, as always, with my lovely sidekick, the noob. Only, of course, but the noob he does not talk, because when he was a little kid, he watched his father kill his mother. Big ups. Buddy, what's... Uh, I'd ask you what's with the mask, but I know what's with the mask. It's COVID time, and you got the mask on. Uh, and you don't talk, so it's not going to make much difference for the show. We got the people saying hello already. We got Tony says, hi, from Chicago. Love the show. Uh, Ron says, whoopee, it's time for another show. Let's get ready to rumble, says Chicago Fun 4. Part of the world's most dangerous audience, of course. And uh, Elizabeth Lindo says, why does Carol have so many file cabinets? <laughs> I don't know. She does. It's a... Uh, it's crazy. Sasha has gone subatomic. That's right, because we have a very special guest this week uh, that has to do with uh, science. So that's going to be cool. But before we bring out our guest, let's say hello to our good uh, noob. You okay, buddy? <laughs> noob. What's up? <laughs> it's tough. It's tough to breathe. You doing okay, my man? All right. Let's say hello to Army the Octopus. Hello, there, buddy. <laughs> Who are me, the octopus? <laughs> and let's say hello to pretty much the most beautiful lady in all of streaming, uh, Miss Pretty Debbie Shortcake. Hello, Pretty Debbie. I like to wear masks. You're pretty. Yeah, it's good to see you, Pretty Debbie Shortcake. And uh, oh, we have Ray Levine who says, yes, science. That's right. This week we do. Uh, it's going to be all about science. Hannah wants to know, are we watching Carol on Dancing with the Stars? We are. Uh, we drew a cat for Carol Baskin to show on the on that, and she enjoyed that. Uh, we got all these hellos. Hello from Vermont. Hello from Deerfield. Uh, intense. Does the noob even like science? I don't know. And Alex exists. Alex, we are so happy that you exist. That you exist. All right, let's say hello to the Laugh Cougar. Laugh Cougar body, how are you doing? I'm so good. I'm like J.J. Walker on Good Time. I'm enjoying the NBA on TNT. <laughs> that's close, buddy. Uh, that's pretty close. I think it was Good Times, not Good Time. They that's what I meant. More than one episode. I had a good time watching it. Hello from Dearborn, Michigan. Uh where is Cy Babe? All right, all right. We'll get to Cy Babe. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special guest this week. She's all about, uh, she does the science and and she's a babe. So let's say hello to Cy Babe. Hello there, Yvette. Hello. Can't hear or see you. Hold on. Let's try this again. Yvette, hit refresh or something. It's not putting you on the show. It's gone goofy. I promise we have... <laughs> Hi, babe, on the show. Uh, Debbie's looking extra cute tonight. Let's say hello to pretty Debbie Shortcake one more time. I was telling you about signs. I'm a babe. <laughs> That's great. Oh, man. Uh, I, I hope she comes back because I put her to be on the show and she disappeared. The Brendan or Stacy makes a funny face. Brendan wants to know, is this Zap again? That's right, because we were ghosted by Zap. <laughs> Uh, from uh, American Gladiators. She totally ghosted us. Oh, look at this, though. She's here. She's she's watching the show and commenting. I just got disconnected. <laughs> be right there. Uh, happy to be the star. 
The Psy Babe live in California. <laughs> she might not understand what time it is. I promise you she does because she's a science person. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is disastrous, everybody. Uh, but hey, before Psy Babe comes out, anyway, I want to, I got a really funny clip I want to show you guys. And uh, uh, we can discuss this. Uh, what do you think of these guys? Hey, welcome to Talking Funny. It's the show that talks about the topics relevant to Chicago's improvisational comedy community. Hey, I'm your host today. My name is Sasha, and uh, I'm international hilarious comedian. This over here is my sidekick. His name is the Noob. Only but he doesn't talk because he has a little horse in his throat. <laughs> a little horse. Anyway, that was from about 15 years ago. And ladies and gentlemen, look who's back. Hello, it's the side, babe. Hello. Uh, apologies for that technical difficulty. It's I'm plugged into Ethernet, and it's like, hey, you don't have a connection right now. It's, no, I blame. It was, I, uh, I tried I, to put you on, and it was just a black screen, so I booted it's, you. I it's it's all I I blame COVID nineteen. I also blame COVID nineteen. It's I I just it's I wasn't wearing my mask. It just came through the computer at me. And Matt it's, wants to know what time is it where Psy Baby it's, is? Uh, <laughs> it's it is uh it's six zero it's it's six oh seven p.m. So you're in California area. I am in Cal. It's I it's I I'm I'm within California. I'm in Los Angeles to be specific. I am I am within a kilometer of downtown L.A. So if you want to come and hunt for me, you're gonna have a really hard time because there are a lot of fucking people out here. Oh wait, I forgot to ask. Am I allowed to? Is swearing allowed on this live stream? Oh, absolutely. Uh, go to town. <laughs> Uh, nice. Alex, you are seductively sciency. Alex, I am. This is this is my not just my bedroom. I am on my bed where I make my love at. There's a dog sitting on my ass though, so this really isn't all that sexy. <laughs> unrelated, <It's>... unrelated fact. <laughs> uh, we have to ask you. So, California, we had trouble before because we had Zap from American Gladiators was going to be on the show. Oh. But we we tell her the show's nine eight central, and the trick is they don't have nine eight central in California. It's so. I always have to. I'm like that's two hours ahead, right? Like I, it's this is what I love about like all the the new technologies make this all easier. You send me a thing, an invite with it in your time zone, it translates to mine. It takes takes the guesswork out of adding two hours. That's amazing. We have Leslie says side babe with the metric measurements and swearing. It's you know yes. my, my 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 family's from Canada. I I, I understood how kilometers works from a young oh, age. That that's cool. Canada. Uh, what kind of Canada are you I, from? It's uh, what kind of a, a province? Nova Scotia. <laughs> Nova Scotia. <laughs> Nova Scotia. That's great. As they say, you're right. She says side, side dog. Buddy. It was quick. Come here, baby. He's 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 coming. I I, I see I see signs of life are back here, buddy. See, there's a there's a side dog. Oh hey, it is a dog. Is it? It is a dog. That's pretty cool. He's a uh, guy. How, how is it to be a scientist these days? It's well, I've I've kind of converted over from being a lab scientist full time to uh, to being a a, a sci I'm a science influencer. And now I, I go on the internet and I read about science and I write about science and I try to keep people. I try to translate from science to uh, to layman so that people who have not been steeped in the language of science can understand kind of a little bit more of that slice of the universe. Hannah wants to know: Is that the Nova Scotia duck? tolling retriever are, are they asking about what my dog is because i i I, it's, I i think that's what they're asking my dog is uh is a mutt that was rescued from the streets of la <laughs> and we think he's a, a a terrier mixed with either well, at one point i thought it was a terrier mixed with a chihuahua and so i called him a shittier uh and now uh we're pretty sure he is a, a terrier mixed with a dachshund and i don't have a cute name for that <laughs> but well, our, our audience will come up with one for you. A come up with a fu terrier dog. Want a funny name. Find find a funny name that if the dog spoke English, he would hate me for it as much as he would hate me for shittier if he spoke English. Stacy wants to know: Does the noob like dogs? Noob, buddy, how you feel? Noob. <gasps> you, no, do, no, buddy, no, come no. here. You have to. You have to convince someone. You have to convince someone. How? Look at. Well, look noob's at this a little, little tricky because when he was a little kid, he watched his father kill his mother. So his uh, his attachment <gasps> emotions are all botched up, you know. 
I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. It was his father. Uh, oh. Reed wants to know, hey, Sybabe, who gets the cattle prod first? Anti-vaxxers? Ooh, or Ooh. Um, you know, I'd like to just give anti-vaxxers a vaccine. Uh, but here, I don't think flat earth. Now, flat earthers are really more of a religious cult uh, than than uh, anything else there. And and oftentimes you find a lot of overlap between flat earthers and anti-vaxxers. If you're, A flat earther is, is often going to be also an anti-vaxxer, but an anti-vaxxer isn't automatically going to be a flat earther. But the people that are causing more problems in our society on a day-to-day -day basis as in the ones that are causing measles outbreaks uh, to show up again are the anti-vaxxers. So cattle prod uh, from my hand to the ass goes to the anti-vaxxer. But the one with like a little booster shot at the end. It's just, just just attach a, an MMR to the end of it. Just just go on with the MMR. And Alex says, what ology is your forte? Um, masturbationology. I, I mean, uh, chemistry. <laughs> chemistry. I, I have a couple of degrees, actually. I have a, an undergrad degree in theater, which is why I'm able to put up with all the insanity of being an online personality. Uh, also an undergrad degree in chemistry, and I have a master's degree in forensic science with a concentration. Oh, I do have an ology. A concentration in biological criminology. Well, that's two ologies. Yeah. Biology so, and criminology. Yes. Biological criminalistics, I think was the exact term, but there you go. Uh, ooh. One wants to know is the state of our country in general lack of belief in science really depressing or super depressing to you? Oh, yes. Depressing. Yes. Depressing. Awful. But they, thank, thank you for. Thank you for asking that question. Not enough people ask. Not enough people ask. You too can help a scientist's mental mental state by asking how they're feeling. Uh, strangely, uh, we get that question every single week, even when we don't <laughs> have a scientist. So how is your mental state doing because in the state of the world? How, how are you, Sasha? Oh, I'm cool. You know, it's the noob I got to worry about. He's he, really sensitive. He looks He looks like he needs a hug. Do you need a hug, noob? Of course it's all, a hug. it's when when we're in the same part of the world when the covid isn't all over the place I'll give you a hug okay I'll, well, I'm that, sending you a social distance a little hug bit, but I just want to warn you it's it's a lot of thick shell he's built up from having Aww. watched his mother actually stab his mother to death in front of him when he was a little boy he's he uh, looks very sad that he looks angry is it is it because you're talking about the stabbing or because of the very cute doggy oh it's the dog we talk about Aww. the stabbing all the time but look, he's so tiny. He is an a he's an eight year old dog, and he's this tiny. It's he looks like a puppy. Noob is terrified. Oh, uh, Leslie wants to know: Have you lost all hope in the Southern USers? Side babe, question we, mark. Now we have to remember it's really. Oh, I mean. I've lost hope in getting the votes that we want for the for the seats that we want from those states. But we have to remember, no matter what, if you're in a red state, you're going to have about 40 percent of the voters are going to be Democrats. If you're in a blue state, about 40 percent of the voters are probably going to be Republicans. So don't give up on all the people in those states because they're going to be like, you don't. it's the, the state is not a monolith. Uh, you go into any city in a red state and it's a blue state temporarily. Uh, you get 10 miles outside of a city. City, you're back in a red state. You get 10 miles outside of LA. Uh, you well, you're in Orange County, and suddenly you're in a blue. You're in a red state. Uh, but you need to remember that it's not. You know, the states are not monoliths. You you go to a more populated area where people are more likely to meet people that are different from them. They they develop empathy. They understand that the world is bigger than them. Uh, but you know, it's the hard thing about the South is that. Even though we know that there are they, these aren't monoliths, there are lots of different types of people there. Uh, there, we're not gonna we're not gonna see progress out of out of those parts of the world. We're not gonna see people changing their mind. These are these are places that are so deeply stuck in voting for um, for for uh, conspiracy theorists who are gonna do things that are gonna keep hurting them. Um, uh, it's it's it, we're not gonna flip those votes that's um, an incredibly optimistic look on the world to be honest that's really I, commendable that's, you're gonna you're gonna find good people anywhere and you're gonna find bad people anywhere like i've there are trump supporters probably on my block here in california like think about it that way i'll tell you where you only find good people here with the world's most dangerous audience uh, we got some dog titles <laughs> we are, for you. we're here we're here with sexy audience too <laughs> The, right. These are. This is the sexiest audience. I can. I can tell. Wait, I can. Well, let me see if Big Raj calls. Hold on. We'll. <laughs> tell you. Uh, hey, we get tungsten lab redoodle or beaker wiener. You know what? Science names. It's he know. looks. He looks kind of like a. Uh, he looks like a baby beagle. Like people think uh, on occasion that he's just this teensy little. Oh, sorry, that didn't want to work out. He people think he's just like a baby beagle, or he's like part beagle mixed with. 
Oh, noob. I'm sorry. You look very sad. Oh, but rough. Beaker Wiener, I it's you know, like I'll I'll consider that one. I do like like it, Labrador, like that's an actual species of dog though. So or you know, like cross Brits, but like hmm, tungsten. I I like I do like Beaker Wiener. I, I feel like we could work with that. Hey, this is a great question from Brooks. He says, How do you handle climate change not being real? Must oh, be hard. man. You know, all the money I get from George Soros is making it so much easier. Oh, Re jumps to his defense. He doesn't mean <laughs> that. He understands it. Oh, this is her husband, and they were divorced. <laughs> I, we, we figured that. We, we don't worry. It's I, oh, I'm glad boy. I'm glad to know. <laughs> I'm glad to know that you would divorce him though if he was like look, I I have things that my husband and I disagree on, but there are some things that are uh, like look, if you if if we go past this point, there's an 80% rule like we got to we got to agree on about 80% of the important shit. It's good um, to draw those lines. Uh, Ron wants to know is science fiction considered a real science? That's a good question, Ron. Well, well there's the word fiction right in there, you see. What's that, that mean? It's, <laughs> fiction means it's not real. So here's well, here's the thing though. Let's let's talk about this a little bit. Um, so some science fiction because there is because uh, because there is like hard science fiction that kind of is more based in reality, right? And I mean, I don't when I watch science fiction, I want uh, like I want cowboys in space. You know, I want Star Wars and Star Trek, and I want well, Star Wars is a space opera. Star Trek is cowboys in space. I want uh, like I, I don't I, I don't need to know the science of what's going on. I think that when it gets too technical. It, it loses oftentimes it loses something in the story and the science doesn't have to be accurate like whenever i see neil degrasse tyson ripping apart um uh, some some science bad quote bad science in the movies i'm like i don't think anyone went there to get a quantum physics lesson neil i think they went to see tony stark punch a robot spaceship alien i'm i'm just saying so, so you know science fiction well, is often Matt not real science question, though. do they call it hard science fiction because it is more difficult to do <laughs> <laughs> probably it's it's probably. it's heavier and i think a lot of times it has at least a little bit more of a root in science uh but you know that word fiction it's there for a reason Sci babe it's time to play a game oh, uh, oh this we're is playing a fun a game. one this mm. is i think you're going to enjoy this it's That's... called uh, whoever's last is your new boyfriend oh and lord it should, it should be called whoever's last is your new lover and oh my do, new lover yeah, i would have, like i i could always go for a new lover there you go so we have <laughs> mr pointy here and he oh, can open mr. all of these six doors for you we're going to open all six but oh. just know that whoever's last is your <laughs> new my new lover partner whatever you want to go okay with. it's I, I i'll have this discussion with derek later he'll be understanding i mean oh, i go on a finding. go on a podcast it happens yeah it happens so who we where are we going first all right let's go with number three first okay we open door number three now this person will not be your new boyfriend oh. <gasps> knock off spongebob He's i'm so like sad a, he, he was he was quite i'm not sponge worthy apparently Wait, wait, wait. I have to interrupt the game. Hannah wants to know if you were on Shark Tank, Cy Babe. I, I was not. I was okay. not on Shark Tank. Well, that's all I, we'll say about that. Okay, where are we going next? <laughs> let's, uh, let's let's go for number six. Number six. Now, this is not your new lover. Not my new lover. Oh, I'm, okay with, I'm okay with that. I like her. I think she's nice. She's just I, having I, a bad day. She's, I, I, I feel like it would be... I, I, I don't. I don't want to fuck someone who's having a bad day. Like I don't want to have to work to like get to the point where they're okay fucking me. That's like, fair. No, that's like, a fair standard to set. Again, like you're at, drawing important lines. At least the sponge looks like he's in an okay mood to start with. He's a toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, let's go to door number one. Okay, but I want to warn you now. This is it's not, not going, going to be, going to be lover. Okay. Well, that's a shame. Oh, I mean, that's what you want in a man, right? Like, just he's going to get in, get out, no fuss, no more. Oh, you could have had fun with this fella. It's what oh, <laughs> man. Let's, uh, uh, let's go. He's off, he's off the road. He's can't he's be off. your lover. No. Oh, man. Shit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call him out for the show's over, though. Let's go for door number five now. Let's open up door number five. Door number five. <laughs> yeah, nope. That would have been, he had a tail. Got Shit. A tail, some I really blew hip my hair. Yeah, he was part. He he was business in the front, party in the back. That would have been. Oh, 
blue. Uh, it's, I, Dave says, is that the noob's mother? I don't know who he's talking about, but no. Mm, now it's, it's down, to, down to two and four, two and four. Um, Alex says, I'd ride those dick pants. Let's see, uh, let's, I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking at the uh, at comments that are coming in. Guys, two or four, which one should I go with? Oh, Eric like, says, that's a dick. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh let's see. I, I'm oh I it's you know what? Let's let's open up door number four because I'm gonna go with door number okay, two. Door number Wait, four right. is not going to be your new person. Yeah. Uh, oh, there you go. This this funny silly bird. It's that bird could have brought me some joy, but you know, I think I've accepted time. I've accepted my fate <laughs> with door number two. Oh boy. So here you go, door number two. This is now going to be your brand new my, my new lover. lover. Oh, <laughs> you know, that's a person who's scrappy. That's He's a person scrappy. who's seen, they have, they have seen some, some, some action. They can, they can, I don't know what the, the other guy looks like. Maybe he beat the crap out of them. And you know, I've, I've never, I've never slept with a green man before. This I is, think he this was scrapping is, with this guy over here, to be honest. You know, like he took down a big dick. That's impressive. Dave wants to remind us boys have a penis and girls have a vagina. So you know that's not that's that's not always true. My brother has a vagina. Okay, that's see that's science right there. So that, my brother, you, it's there is your it's and I mean I just I it's look, look we can have a we can have a quick serious moment. Yeah. Oh, we had a police officer, Chicago <laughs> cop. Oh my god! <laughs> so we get crazy uh, serious. So no, my uh, my brother is a trans man, and so every once in a while, I see people getting like you know, it's be, uh, deciding that their their way they're going to look at the world is that trans people are not real or that this is a choice. And I'm like, you know, I think of my brother uh, who who was you know an army vet and who is valedictorian and has a bio degree with like a with, with like a three point nine eight GPA, just very smart guy with a lot of things he's doing. I don't think that he would have chosen this arbitrarily because he you know wanted to make his life more difficult i think this is a thing that some people have to uh, go through be uh, because that's who they really are and i think that we could be nicer to people so um i think sending okay. messages saying th uh, things like that are just that's just that that's just unnecessary so hey guy you could be nicer all right yeah so this guy dave is is maybe he's wrong is what you're saying i, I think dave i think you could I, I think you could learn to be more empathetic to people that you uh haven't met yet and that aren't like you um so well, that's dave, you got, I, you I, just got dressed down buddy so. it's, you know I, I just i think that we need to learn more about uh no, dave's honest he okay, says, <laughs> okay gotcha. top, perhaps I, it's outdated you know what? i so. i apologize if i misjudged you dave but no Very i remember wrong. it's i've it's been a long time since i've seen kindergarten cop well, a couple people so. got this it's just thank you. The kindergarten it's, cop. Thank, th thank you guys for for it's but yeah, it's I I appreciate I appreciate the uh the 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 um I don't know if corrections were I appreciate the information that he was quoting kindergarten. Oh, uh, and I, I think but, what your message there is absolutely wonderful. It's what we preach on the show all the time, which is be be nice. Yeah. And you know, every once in a while, it's cool to draw a picture that looks vaguely like a penis. <laughs> That's the yeah. other message. It's, there is I have no problem with penis. Pe oh, let me rephrase that. Please don't send me pictures of your dick. But if you draw a picture of a funny penis, I am always down, for, especially at my podcast, Two Girls, One Mike, the Porncast, where we review porn for the plot. The, the best part. Send, uh, like, if you send us, if, you, if you're determined to send us over at that podcast a, a picture of your dick, put a funny hat on it or like clothes. Like we really want to see someone like dress up their dick like the Lone Ranger and put it on like a, a little like a uh, uh, um, uh, toy horse. Oh, if you do that, we'll we got at least show. four audience members that I know are up for the <laughs> challenge. But yeah, uh, to, uh, uh, email us info at two girls one mic. Um, but that's uh, that that's the weird podcast that we have, and it's the yeah. only uh, it's the only way you're allowed to send us a dick pic. We want uh, we want to see hats or clothes on it. But if you just send us a picture of your dick, we're gonna call your mom and that's make fun. Like about you, Sabeb, you draw you draw lines with everything, and I think it's wonderful. It's you're like, setting boundaries, you're defining those boundaries, and you're not shy about that. Like, so well, look, good. I, you have to understand when you're putting yourself out there, as especially as a woman on the internet who you know, if and you put the name uh, babe in your title, guys are going to get a certain kind of impression, and you have to wrangle that. Like you, I did this to myself. I have to manage it now. So that's that's just part of it. Ooh, the noob babe. Noob babe. Yeah, noob I just, babe. You know, he puts himself out there as well. And, hey. Uh, you and can... Martin says, I want to draw a funny penis for you. Oh, 
it's not going to be like if he learns how to draw like faces on those funny penises, much like much like someone we know does on cats. There's a business in it. True story. Uh, back at the height of that particular business, uh, Andy Dick's manager reached out because he wanted to capitalize on it and start. I want to draw a dick for you. Because <laughs> that's a dick. And uh, I was like, okay, that's cool. What's my cut? And then they stopped emailing me. And it never happened. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, that was it's, crazy. So true story. Everyone I know in LA has an Andy Dick story. That's Everyone in Chicago does as well. Because he was here for a very long time. There, there is one bar because basically nowhere will serve him anymore. At, at least uh, allegedly, uh, there's there are like one or two bars on Sunset that will still still serve him. And I have far too many friends who have been like, "Yeah, uh, he licked my face." That's the thing, that's man. All it's the so stories, crazy. all the stories are a face licking story from Andy Dick. So, uh, Sai babe, tell people where can they go? So you mentioned you do the porn cast, two girls, one mic. Yeah. Where else can people find you? I you know can, you can go to cybabe.com. Indeed. Uh, the main place where you can find me for my live streams that I do on uh, on Sundays at noon uh, Pacific and Fridays at 5 Pacific are over at uh, facebook.com slash cybabe. Uh, it's also over at my YouTube channel. And it, look, it's everything is linked via the Facebook. So come over, join join the fiesta over at over at the Facebook page. Uh, I'm also at Instagram and uh, and Twitter at the cybabe. Uh, so so come come join the party uh Cy dog will be there too just you know as as adorable and as freaking out the noob but he's he's very cute sometimes there are cats too that's wonderful one more question before we send you on your way from an, a fellow scientist what's your favorite trilobite it's I, I, it's oh man that's a uh, don't make me don't 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 make me sophie's choice this don't make, I, I won't i can't <laughs> no well, then let's leave you with this. Ramona says, best guest yet. Thank you. Ram you're my favorite Ramona. You're the best Ramona yet. She's a good Ramona. She's also my Ramona. favorite Ramona. Uh, I and have she's comparing you to some pretty high people. We had Horatio Sands on the show. What? We yeah, we had, uh, who, by the way, everybody, Horatio Sands blocked me on Twitter. What? So if one of you wants to check out with him, like, what? what's up with that? You had the show that he like, was great we had such a good time it was oh wonderful man. we had lauren lapkis on the show and jordan oh. Pepper on the show and it's awesome. like so now, you, it's high praise it's i i thank you i i i take that as a huge compliment because i love jordan Klepper so much and i re, i i'm 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 hope i'm hoping i can get him onto my live stream so we're the, gonna try it's if, if anyone is so, so someone wrongly thinking that i'm a better guest than jordan Klepper, thank you so much i i, I came with my dog i think that helps it Sorry, could be she didn't see that show <laughs> Well, maybe she didn't tune into that one. I'm, I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna pretend she did, and that she really liked me. <laughs> Hi, babe. I feel like our time here has been too short, but I want to thank you for coming on the show. Uh, we're gonna send you on your way and get to our musical guest and some other crazy stuff as well. So feel free to stick around or check it out on some other streaming media. But uh, hey, it's good to see you. Thanks for coming on the show. Bye, guys. Thank you for having me. It's great to have a science people. Hey, laugh cougar. What do you think of that science? I didn't understand a word she said. Was she Canadian or something? I don't know. She, Yeah, she was from Nova Scotia. Ramona says, smart girls are awesome. Uh, and then Zimmer makes fun of me that Horatio Sands <laughs> uh, he, he blocked me. Why did Horatio Sands block me? That's a serious question. I don't know what happened there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take a one-minute fun intermission video and when we come back we have an amazing musical guest and uh, the incredibly talented rebecca loops so uh right after this one minute of laureen siciliano making silly faces
Hello. Uh, my name is Rebecca. My last name is not Loops, but it's Marquardt with a silent D. It's a real winner. Uh, Sasha, thanks for having me. The noob. Uh, it's always nice to see your face. As always, sorry for your loss. Uh, I'm going to do a little music because that's what the music guest is supposed to do, I guess. Uh, hmm, we'll see if I remember that note. I may or may not. Uh, my little setup here, I have a camera in front of me, which is filming this, which is in, fr in, front, of, in front of you. Uh, it, it, whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> it's a looper. That'll make sense. That's why my name is Rebecca Loops. This is going exactly as planned. Hmm. Yep. Okay, great. Wait for it. tool in the shed she was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an l on her forehead well the years start coming and they don't stop coming and the rules and i hit the ground running did it make sense how to live for fun your brain gets smart but your head gets dumb so much to do so much to see so what's wrong with taking the back streets you'll never know if you don't go you never shine if you don't glow Hey now, you're an all star, get the game on, go play. Hey now, you're a rock star, get the show on, get paid. And all that glitters is gold. Well, only shooting stars break the mold. Well, it's a cool place, and the sand gets colder. You head to the ground, right? Da, 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 from the medium and back to Denver. Searching for the hole in the hat, I find out. The ice we skate is getting pretty thin. The water's getting warm, so you might as well swim. The world's on fire, how about yours? Yours is also fucking on fire! The world is a fire because of a gender reveal party. That baby can't tell you what his gender is. It's like the sky baby said. Gender is a social contract. If you're only a man, because you have a penis, then I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Dear wife. Hey now, you're an all-star, get the game on, go play. Hey now, you're a rock star, get the show on, get paid. And all that glitter is go on, only shooting stars break the mold. Yeah, all that glitter is go, only shooting stars break the mold. Thanks. <laughs> well, that was phenomenal, Rebecca. I, I got to tell you, I've never seen comments flying through as fast as they were during that musical performance. Uh, Ramona says, best, it's best, best musical act. Perfect show. Oh, and yeah. Ramona, you haven't seen the whole of it. Rebecca, beautiful. What a surprise. Thanks. What a lovely performance. Where can I people find you? Yeah, Rebecca Loops everywhere. YouTube, all the whatever. YouTube is where most of my where most of my uh, Looper covers are. But I, the internet is against this show tonight because I am running off of my phone hotspot because my com my internet upload upload speed dropped to nothing. So, well, by the skin what? of our teeth, this whole it show looks happened. like you're on <laughs> super premium uh, wired internet because that came through very well. <laughs> And uh, sounded for real phenomenal performance. That was really great. Uh, 
<laughs> well, everybody, Thanks go find Rebecca me. Loops. She does all sorts of funny stuff like this. She has a show where she plays Tetris while she interviews guests, which is also <laughs> a, a choice streaming lovely show that you need to check out. So good to have you, Rebecca. Good to see you. Thanks. <laughs> see you later. Oh, laugh, Cougar, what you think, buddy? I tell you, for 27 minutes, I, I thought my peyote was not working at all. And then when Lorraine Siciliano started making faces and Rebecca Loops did whatever that was, it really kicked in. And now I'm experiencing life anew. That's great, laugh, Cougar. I'm, it's always good to have a new start. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, uh, Ramona was saying uh, she thought this was a great show because we had a wonderful guest and a wonderful musical guest. And what she's not even ready for is what we're about to throw her. Because, ladies and gentlemen, here is a complete waste of your time and money. they still make fruity striped gum. Me too. Hey, Victor, you're kind of like fruity striped gum. How so? You're a burst of fun flavor. Oh, thanks, Jerry. That's nice of you to say. A short blast of unique sweetness. Short. Then, almost immediately, you lose all flavor and become a worthless wad of cud. It's a bit harsh, don't you think? Perhaps. Boring is more accurate. A boring glob of cud. Hey, Cherry. Maybe I'm not boring. Maybe it's the world that bores me. <laughs> Perhaps it's a bit of both. Wow, thank you so much for purchasing this episode of A Complete Waste of Your Time and Money. $1.99 has been charged to your YouTube account. A portion will go to our good friend Paco, who needs the money for a big camping trip. Thanks again, and remember, your time is our money. Oh, I love it. And we have one of those every week now. We're going to burn through the whole library. So Ramona says, okay, now this is the perfect show. Hey, wait, Left Cooker, what are you doing up there? What am I doing up here? There we go. Whoa! There we go. <laughs> there we go. Matt says, it was cool that Shia LaBeouf was able to play Victor. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool. And Marty wants a refund. Sorry about it. Too late. Uh Oh, fun times. Uh, we played the game. We had a science person. We had a wonderful musical guest. We watched a clip from the very first ever episode of Talking Funny just to kill time. We didn't get to talk about that. Uh, so we that was our first ever show um, from about 15 years ago. And we, the noobs, he, he was silent because he watched his father kill his mother. But we were afraid to say that on television because they thought we thought they cared what we did and they thought they would pull the plug but uh as we learned very quickly we could do whatever the fuck we, we wanted and nobody cared uh if anyone here watching today was watching 15 years ago let me know uh it's cool that sasha's voice has changed yeah i had a puberty i did have a puberty and uh what i want to know is the noob uh, can you still do that with the horse noise? Not like the horse in your throat noise? Nope. 
It's been a while. Uh, Cy Babe joins us and says, Laugh Cougar Babe is my new idol. I didn't even catch that, Laugh Cougar. That's fine. I can't even read her writing. <laughs> you can't. That's that, French. All above your head. I know. I know. Uh, oh, boy. And no chicken nuggets, says Elizabeth. Oh, the show's not over yet, Elizabeth. Because as if the show was not perfect enough today, uh, we had one of our regular viewers shoot me a, a photograph that they, they took. Uh, <clears throat> they found a chicken nugget in their chicken nugget box that reminded them of talking funny. I don't know why, but I'll show you. This is what they sent me. Uh, I'm not sure what what this is, what about these chicken nuggets is talking funny. Uh, but you know, they sent that. So if you have a chicken nugget or like a banana or I'm just spitballing foods here, a corn or a, one of those gummy penises that reminds you of the show, you know, just snap a photo and let us know and we'll put it we'll put it there. Uh, maybe Dr. Jim can check out Laugh Cougar. I don't know who that, what that means. Braided cherries <laughs> reminds them of talking funny. Oh boy, I heard that I had to miss some amazingness just to reheat fucking chili. I hope there's a replay option. There is. Uh, the show is on YouTube right after you watch it, so you can go check that out. That's a rooster nugget. That sure is. An account admin needs honey muss. That's got to be like one of those TikTok words. I, I don't know <laughs> what it means, buddy. All right. That was Talking Funny this week. Uh, next week, we've got a... Uh, oh, I forgot to pitch. Don't forget to join the Silly Club. You get the free membership card in the mail. Just go to TalkingFunny2020.com and click Join the Silly Club. And we'll send you a membership card in the mail for free. Uh We've got like 55 members of the Silly Club, so you can be member number 56 because all the cards are numbered. Um, it's a complete waste of time and money is the best show. That's right. It's wonderful, which is why we're going to be playing every freaking episode. It's a special segment on Talking Funny. Uh, also, go to TalkingFunny2020.com. You can watch every previous episode of Talking Funny and all the games we play with our guests. You can play them right there with your family or your kids. Megan Downey says, first time viewer. Thanks for the show. Megan Downey, I invite you to join the Silly Club because I think you're one of us. All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, a quick plug for next week's show. No big deal. We'll be talking with star of Bill and Ted Face the Music, uh, Keanu Reeves, and we have musical, musical guest Peg Simone. So that'll be a fun show. I hope you guys can tune in. Uh, and that's all we got. We'll see you next Tuesday at 9, 8 central. TNT. Oh, I got a cow. She's six feet tall. Sleeps in the kitchen with her feet in the hall. She's got a sister. She's tall and keen. She runs her tongue like an English queen. Bow, wow, 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 wow. I got those bow, wow. I got a gal, she rides a riverboat She can make a good mule leave his oats She's got a sister, she's tall and rough She's a hometown gal and she knows her stuff Bow, wow, 